Hi everyone, welcome to Center of Balance Live. I'm Sinan Pua from Center of Balance, the acupuncturist. Hello, hello. So today topic, we're going to talk about my appendicitis experience. The reason we're going to talk about this topic today is because I have a patient today I had a patient today came to me and had a, a sore tummy and diarrhea and had a bit of fever. And when I check the tummy, the pain is actually on that side. And I check the tummy and I figured out this is a case of acute appendicitis. Acute appendicitis. All right. So I know, I know most of you guys, you know, some of you probably, um, some of you probably think about, oh, okay, appendicitis. There's a case that need to do surgery, operation, right? I'm gonna share with you my appendicitis experience. Then, then how, Chinese medicine acupuncture can treat appendicitis. Yes, you're right. You didn't hear me wrong. I said acupuncture and Chinese medicine can treat appendicitis. Now, first today, I'm going to share my experience, my own experience with appendicitis. All right, hang on. I'm just trying to do... Um, if you're on this live video, please give me a thumbs up. A thumbs up means a lot to me. A thumbs up means a lot to me. And please share this live video if you're on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, please share this live video. And if you are on uh, if you're on YouTube, please uh, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. Thank you very, very much. Now, it was um, my first year of university, my first year of university. And I, I remember very clear that I had some uh, wonton. I don't know whether you know about wonton or not. One ton, uh, you might call one ton, and one night, and the next morning I started to get some pain in my tummy. Then I went to my friend's house for a night on that day, and it wasn't so bad. I just, you know, it just made me go to the toilet a bit, and then I went for a few times. I thought, oh, I felt a bit better with my... Um, uh, with my uh, with with the pain in the tummy, and then as I go, it actually from the morning and but two days, and the next morning is still there, and till the night time, it seems like the pain when I go to the toilet for tummy pain, it it didn't went away, the pain didn't went away, it and there's nothing to pass, you know, I first get a bit of diarrhea and then. It was nothing. Then I talked to my friend and said, I think I better go to the hospital. So we went back to school because we um, have a hospital next to the school. So it's our, belong to our university. So we went there and went to the A&E and the a and &E doctor had a look at my tummy and checked my tummy and, and the Mac Bernie point is positive way back there i didn't know what about the uh, uh, appendicitis i didn't know how to diagnose it to be honest because it was my first year of uh, university and i was learning i was learning uh anatomic at that time so i was fresh new new bird of new bird in the uh, university in a medical school so i didn't know that much to be honest so um, then I had a blood test, and the white blood cells very high. 
not very high, not very high, but abnormal. Then he told me, the doctor told me that, well, I think it's, there's been, di the, the diagnosis was um, appendicitis, it's acute appendicitis. And I told him that, well, what is your suggestion? He said, well, it's not very bad, your case. Um, you may be able to avoid um, surgery, but it could turn to chronic appendicitis, which you will suffer from pain for the rest of your life. Then is it the best idea is remove it. Get the surgery done. It's easy peasy, right? So I said, well, if I can, you know, I have, I have to think about it. I have to think about it, you know. There's only me over there and with my friend. I said, well, because um, mom and dad is not, wasn't there, wasn't there, right? So no family member there. So I said, well, I would like to get Chinese medicine to fix it if I could, you know. I had the idea. So the next morning, I went to one of the professor. Uh, he told me that I said, "Well, can you get, can you give me some Chinese herbs to fix my appendicitis?" He said, "No, don't do that." I said, "He said his suggestion is go and get it done, get it removed." I said, "Oh, really? All right, you're a professor. I was learning from you. If you said that, so that's it. I have to." believe you and I will listen to you. So I went back to a &E, I said, well, let's schedule the um, surgery. So on that night, surgery done. That's it. Surgery done. A few hours, they locked me down and the surgery done. And then after that, after a few weeks, then I back in school uh, and was in the canteen uh, then the professor of the anatomy who taught me anatomy, um, I told him that I had a appendicitis surgery done before the exam. And he pointed to my head. He said, that's what he said. He said, you are stupid. I said, what? What do you mean? They said, well, Chinese medicine can fix it. I said, but I went to professional, a professor, one of my professor, and he said he advised me to get it done by surgery. doing surgery. Now I said, all right. He said, well, think about it. He had the idea. He was a surgeon. He was a surgeon. And he came to Chinese medicine university because he was sick of surgery. He know that he knew that Chinese medicine can do much more than surgery. That's why he went to our school teaching as well as learning Chinese medicine. But unfortunately, he didn't know how to fix it. He asked me a question. Way back thousand years ago, if a woman who is pregnant, who was pregnant and who suffered from appendicitis, he asked me, how did they fix it? I said, oh, yeah, that's right. They can't do surgery. What did they do? He said, Chinese herbs. There are a lot of case study in the books. There are a lot of case study recorded in the books. That's what he told me. He said, he's seen a lot. He said, well, your thinking is Western medicine thinking. He said, I was thinking of that way. I was sick of it. So I came to Chinese medicine university to learn Chinese medicine. Well, he was a surgeon, right? So I was lucky, very, very lucky. So um, 
couple of years after that, I actually met my sifu, my master, uh, who prescribes uh, Chinese medicines very well in Jingfang classic formula under his um, care. I follow him, you know, he taught me. And one of my seniors, uh, cousin actually in Shanghai, they were Chinese, they are Taiwanese, and he uh, introduced his cousin to my master because his cousin was only about nine or 10 years old, way back there, uh, still a kid, and he suffered from uh, appendicitis. Then my master prescribed some Chinese herbs within a week. He got better. No surgery. No removing of appendicitis. From appendicitis. Right. So there was a real case. So we learned from that case. Now, there was the first case that I ever seen that a Chinese doctor used Chinese herbs to fix appendicitis without surgery. When I came back to New Zealand, and in my second year, I started to treat appendicitis. I have a friend who came in for appendicitis, a diagnosis. I did the diagnosis, I, I didn't make the diagnosis, and then I treated with Chinese medicine, with one acupuncture in Chinese medicine. Within a week and a half, he got better. And after that, I had the chance and opportunity to help a few more patients with appendicitis. So this is how powerful Chinese medicine can be. I'm not saying that everything that can go without surgery, but I'm pretty sure to tell you that appendicitis could be treated under Chinese medicine. What I'm gonna share with you tomorrow so time's up today. I'm going to share with, with you tomorrow how do you diagnose appendicitis and what acupuncture point that you can use for appendicitis. You know? So what sort of Chinese herbs can you prescribe to treat appendicitis? So this is tomorrow. This is tomorrow. So I'm going to share with one of you the case that I seen today for appendicitis and it was last month so my colleague uh, suffered from appendicitis as well so uh, i suggest her to treat it with just acupuncture no chinese herb just acupuncture and she treated a few i think two or three acupuncture and that's it no more pain right all right, stay awesome and I love you all and thank you for being here with me and I'll see you tomorrow and talk more about appendicitis, uh, acupuncture, Chinese medicine, herbal formula for that. See you next time. Bye-bye.